What's up ladies and gentlemen, Ross the Boss coming at you with an all new Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. It looks like we have the ability to improve the capital, improving our permanent base tax for the rest of the game. I think I am going to take a small, um, you know, manpower hit. Looks like about five months of manpower. Uh, but of course, for the rest of the game, we are going to have another taxation inside our capital of Toledo. And we are going to let the game roll on. Now, as I stated before, I am a little concerned. We are fabricating our claim on the Congo. I'm a little concerned about a variety of these nations, whether it be Brittany, hopefully Ferrara here, if we give them a gift, uh, they might break away from this, um, you know, <laughs> coalition here. And I think I am gonna try to do that. We are going to offer them a gift Hopefully something to improve our relations by 25. That is a lot of unnecessary money. And uh, you know what? I'm not going to spend that much. I thought it would be about 75 gold or 100, but not 225. We'll take our chances. In the meantime, I would like to produce a variety of new buildings that produce uh, more manpower. And I think I will. Let's produce a variety of barrackses. Uh, not too many provinces have a lot of military uh, power, so I'm a little concerned about where exactly to place these buildings. <laughs> not much at all, apparently. 941 is a good spot. And, <laughs> well, I guess uh, we're going to possibly save some money as well. What about some workshops? Granting 0.18 ducats, 0.18 ducats. Very nice to see. What about some taxation? And I think we're good, at least for the time being. Point 0.19 could be quite nice and quite useful. We have four colonists all working very hard and very diligently. Or diligently, I should say. We have the ability to invest in new technology. And I believe we are nowhere near uh, embracing the uh, correct... Um, you know, power, the correct institution. So as soon as we can, we will unlock the printing press. We are going to get our new cannons, possibly something with a little bit of shock through defensive, so our small cast iron cannons. And we are inside our institution map mode. You can see the printing press is slowly making its way into Spain. We are annexing all of England, or at least integrating them. And uh, we are only getting about uh, one diplomatic power, I guess, every month out of 2,320, so not necessarily the best. We would like to improve the amount of uh, diplomatic reputation we have. It could be improved through having a new diplomatic advisor. And our, we've annexed our subjects, which is why it is so poor as of right now. One of our colonies has finished up. That is very nice to see. And as soon as we can, we are going to start settling down into Australia. Doesn't look like we can actually click anything because of all of this uh, wasteland. So in the meantime, what we will do is we will begin annexing more and more of Africa inside the Ivory Coast. Now it looks like Congo is being sieged down by Lunda. And we are going to attempt to, I believe one of these provinces just came up with the correct religion. Not you, not you. One of these provinces needs to change. Most likely Bonnie, at least for now. Not too sure where the other one was. Now, I could try to take over all of Madagascar. That would be quite nice. Or I could move into the Congo here. And, uh, you know, if we go into our trade goods map mode, uh, you know, a lot of slaves, a lot of ivory, um, you know, a lot of wealth here that can be generated. Right now, we are making 14 ducats every single month. We are doing our best to improve our manpower. And we are going to convert yet another province, possibly Matija. 
Both of our barracks have been completed and they are constructed. How are our estates? We have a variety of subjects that don't like us, but that's all right and that's okay. I could siphon some more income from England. I don't believe I will. Burgundy has called in for assistance against the Netherlands. I don't plan on helping. Though, of course, England could be of assistance. Looks like Burgundy is going to win, so we are going to assist just so we get them on our good side. Yep, easily, easily taking out all of the Netherlands. They are, of course, a Dutch Republic and not a monarchy. So, of course, the rest of the world is a little upset. And as soon as we can, we are going to swing some men down. Um, possibly against Bonoman or possibly against Molly. Molly is in a coalition against me. And they won't be leaving anytime soon. So we are going to start uh, making our way down to the Congo. Hopefully we can walk there. And it looks like we can, surprisingly enough. Now, Congo here is allied to Kikanja, which I don't know where that is. Uh, possibly doesn't even matter. Most likely one of these smaller nations. And as soon as we can, we will create our fabricated claim. I'm wondering if we can even declare war now, which I don't believe we can. Nope. Hopefully we can get a master recruiter. Ah, but it looks like having some discipline could save us quite a bit of manpower. Having a merchant could be very beneficial as well while we wait uh, to improve our early modern administration here. We are falling a little bit behind. Let's unlock a merchant. We have some uprising somewhere. And it looks like we have them inside um, Cambria, Calais, I should say. Glorious will Spain bean. We have a claim on limousine, but I don't plan, plan on pressing it anytime soon. Let's begin improving our relations with Venice, at least for the time being. Hopefully this coalition doesn't spring any moment now. But of course, with the help of Austria, we should be able to fend off just about anybody. Morocco here has negative 44 aggressive expansion. As soon as they leave, we are going to send in troops and try to clear them out as well. And it might make sense to begin spreading into um, you know, South America as well, but we'll see exactly where I didn't stand. We have another free colonist and we have another free merchant. Let's send our merchant wherever we can. Um, most likely going to be the Gulf of Aden, assuming we could even reach, and it looks like we actually can, surprisingly enough. And we are going to take this very small island. And I would like to take these small islands as well. And this island. And looks like we can actually establish some smaller footholds on these islands as well, which is very nice to see. Looks like we have a very small province here inside of India. We might do our best to create a vassal uh, or maybe, um, you know, send some money, possibly befriend one of these smaller nations. Converting more and more provinces to the one true faith. We are preparing for our war against the Congo, which should be any moment now. And hopefully England can swing on by and take out these Flemish separatists. Possibly with the help of Burgundy as well. We are losing some ducats every month, but that's fine. That is okay. Oh, I could improve conditions and for the rest of the game gain abundance of uh, taxation. But of course, we are going to go over the limit with the burgers, possibly having them set up a coup. So we need to be on the lookout for some burger uprisings. We have finished our colony in Gabon. Let's send you down to St. Helena. Start creating more and more islands as much as we can. 
I can't wait to start having all of this trade flow back into Genoa. That's going to be amazing. And as soon as we can, we are getting closer and closer to fabricating our first claim. Looming disaster, of course, is quite dangerous. And uh, you know what? I could go ahead and cancel this protectorate once I demand another coastal province. Because, of course, they aren't going to like me for a very long time. Once we get under 50, they will become loyal, but once I take more of their land, they're going to be upset. So then we'll go ahead and we'll just siege down whatever territories they have left. Looks like the Netherlands is still putting up quite a fight. We are moving closer and closer to uh, fabricating our claim on the Congo. One of our missionaries has finished up. Send you into Gabon. And most of Plemenkin here is changing to Protestant which is very nice to see. I would very, very much so like to take over a lot of these provinces here and possibly even take this from the Papal States, though I do understand that would bring a lot of aggressive expansion into the region. These 32,000 troops can be split in half Looks like we have a variety of ships that aren't doing anything. These can, these, uh, you know, all these transport ships can be trashed. The rest of these ships can actually <laughs> stay with me for the time being. These ships can move into Genoa. And, of course, we might actually, um, you know, funnel a few of those trade ships away, start securing our trade routes along Africa. Or at least as best as we can... I would very much so like to produce more and more, um, you know, buildings that improve the amount of ducats we get. After our war with the Congo, I think what I will do is I will take away holy sacraments. And you know what? I could even do that now. And I'm going to get something along the lines of either production efficiency or global settler increase. Most likely having more taxation or, excuse me, more production would be very nice to see, even though we aren't really producing that many goods. But having 1.7 extra ducats every single month could certainly add up. And I just want to declare war. <laughs> All right, here we are, fabricating our claim, most likely on Maya Umba. Neither of our armies have a general. Oh, this one is very powerful. And if we can, we are going to go ahead and create another general. Ooh, a 314 is very nice as well. And we are going to make our way into Congo. Recalling this diplomat will take a very long time. Looks like some of this land is being sieged down by Tunisia, occupied by Tripoli. Hopefully Tunisia can take over all of this land. That means we can take over a giant swath of land without having to go through multiple wars. Okay, our diplomat is back. We are about to declare war on the Congo. And let's dive in here. We may even need a conquistador. <laughs> Absolute garbage. And it looks like the Netherlands has ended. We have gained 9.7 prestige, and uh, that's it. <laughs> and we've gained 13 favors with Burgundy. Now, I do believe I'm going to try my best to keep Burgundy as an ally, but of course, if they do want to break away, that is fine and understandable. I would like to vassalize or at least take over all of Provence. I would like to take over all of Brittany as well. And let's add, is it possible to swing on by all of these territories and start exploring whatever we can? We don't have much administrative power, but I would love to do is uh, take as much land as we possibly can. 102 aggressive expansion already, aye, aye, aye. But luckily it isn't very much with the rest of the world. Every year that goes by, uh, France, Provence, 
um, all of these nations are going to drastically diminish. Mali, of all nations, which is very surprising. Uh, I will certainly take the global settler increase and the settler chance. Looks like their capital is about to fall. Of all, <laughs> England has come to our aid. We will send our conquistador to New Horizons, I should say. I'm wondering if we could find any gold mines. I do see some copper, and it looks like more slaves, a lot of ivory. So having these dyes could be quite nice, and I believe I do have these dyes. Looming disaster. Still the plutocratic coup. Hopefully once we take over all of these new areas, their influence will drop quite drastically. And we've already taken over 50% of the Congo. I could force them to be a protectorate and uh, eventually take more and more of their lands. And you know what? I might actually do that. Um, yeah, that way it would be a lot more manageable. You wouldn't really have to go to war all the time. How is my other protectorate doing? Not that well. Peace offer from the Congo? I don't think so. We are discovering more and more areas. And of course, I am going to get global settler increase. That way we all have, uh, you know, 10% extra settlers every single year. So, you know, it'll go a lot faster. Though I do understand I lost a lot of administrative power doing that. But it was a nice investment to have. I could take over Chakwi as well. Is it possible to annex all of the Congo? Of course it is not. So what I think I'll do is I'll ask for a Spanish protectorate. Uh, looks like I'm going to get 75 aggressive expansion. As soon as this happens, I am going to seize territory along their coast. Peace offer from Congo? I don't think so. I'm wondering if we'll still have Chakwi as a vassal. Do any of these provinces have gold? Nope, just all slaves. Looks like we have some gold provinces down in this direction. It might be beneficial of us to start colonizing the rest of these lands. Eighty-nine percent, almost done. I'm wondering if I could take their income. Doesn't look like it. Nope. I would have to take them over, um, <laughs> you know, uh, all at once. And you know what? I think I am going to end our war now. We are going to gain seventy-five aggressive expansion, but uh, all of these nations don't necessarily matter too much. We now have the Congo as a protectorate. And, of course, our first order of business is to improve relations. But I'm curious, is it even possible to seize land? And it is. I'm going to seize land from Maya Umba. I am going to seize land from Loango. And if I can, I'll do it once more. I don't believe it'll be possible, and it is not. In the meantime, I am going to uh, core both of our new areas here, if it's even possible. 67 administrative power. We just received two ivory provinces, and they are on the ivory coast, so that is quite nice as well. And in the meantime, we will improve our relations with the Congo. Can't be sent until the 3rd of November. We might declare war on Mali or Bonoman very soon. But we are slowly but surely making our way uh, throughout Africa. And I'm curious to see if I could somehow travel. Uh, do I have my conquistador? Is it possible for me to travel all the way over in this direction? 
maybe explore a few other territories and then bring you on back. Our looming disaster, a plutocratic coup. All right, well, I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. As always, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in our next adventure.